So it's been another week already. So going from the 27th to the 3rd, bear in mind it's about 3.30 when I'm recording this. So again, sales may well change. Uh, but we've taken £821.13, and pence, which is a considerable amount more than last week. I, mean, I think it's almost double, if not it is double. And the only difference, honestly, was I listed more. I had items that I'd been sitting on for ages and just didn't bother listing. I listed it and it sold within three days. So the moral of this particular story is list your items. The more you list, the more you sell. It's as simple as that. But it's having that motivation and that want to do it, which is the biggest thing. Um, I think especially if you're doing this part time, which I am. I think if it's, if it's full time and you're relying on the money coming in, then you may be more inclined to do it. But when you're working like full time and you're doing this on the side, which honestly, the hours you put into it, it's a second full time job. The, the motivation will go, but it will come back. Stick at it because the more you list, the more you sell. Would you Adam and Eve it? Okay, so starting off the week, I say starting off, it's, it's bloody Wednesday. Um, I need a Five Nights at Freddy's figure, which I think it might be in this one. Yes, ha, that's what I want as well. It's one of the Foxy figures. Can't actually get it out with uh, with one hand on the phone, but let me do that in one second. There we go. So Five Nights at Freddy's, it's the Foxy figure. Twenty one ninety nine, including postage. Yeah, uh, this is the start of many. So Five Night at Freddy's Foxy figure, bit of RA, uh, paid a tenner, sold it for twenty one ninety nine, including postage. So yeah, time to get the ball rolling and pick a load more orders. Although I think they're all at home. No, tell a lie. I've sold a VHS bundle. Uh, one of the minder ones. I have one at home, but as I'm at the stores, I might as well grab it while I'm here. So this sold for £23, including postage, I think, or thereabouts. Paid a tenner. Nice, quick, easy money doubler. Killzone 2 on PS3. An incredible 2 99 including postage. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith on the DS. 3 95 including postage. My camera's very shaky today. Maybe that's just me. Too much coffee, probably. Chances are you've seen these out and about. Just sold these two for twenty ninety nine each, plus postage, going to the US of A. And I've got to pay for it myself because I didn't do GSP. What an idiot. Although I've allowed £20 postage, so it should be enough. I hope. So under the new system, I've sold one card so far. Single card of Electabuzz, £6.50, including postage. Look at that. Absolutely minty fresh, wonderful looking card. Notorious B.I.G. Funko Pop box damage. However, $24.99 plus postage. And Bully didn't last long. Uh, $29.99 plus postage. He had some damage uh, around. I got good snaps of it. It's well, it's well pictured. So um, yeah, quick turnaround. Glad it's gone. Pokemon Tops trading card binder. Brand new. $59, sorry, $49.99 including postage. And it's going via the GSP. Bush Radio with damage, all well pictured, nineteen ninety nine, including postage. Nerf Mega Cyclone Shock, fourteen ninety nine plus postage. Comes with six starts. Quite enjoyed testing this one actually. Escalado, forty nine ninety nine plus postage. We have a loot crate, a Maki Den figure, twenty two ninety nine, including postage, going via the GSP. 101 Dalmatians, 4 99 including postage. Xbox 360 Classics, GTA San Andreas, 22 99 including postage. Castlevania on the DS, £55 including postage. Had it listed for, for a very high price for a long time, uh, about £65. To best offer, £55. Glad it's gone. Easy money. Sold one individual card for £2.50, including postage. Lots of, well not even lots, just one or two individual card sales, which I don't really want. So I'm going to try it for another week. And if it doesn't pick up, or there's a change in the amount of cards that are being bought, I will revert it to £3 postage on top of every card. Because I thought I was going to get loads of international sales. So far, 
none. So I've been sitting on this for, oh, focus. I've been sitting on this for about, I don't know, a month, two months maybe, possibly even three. Could be six, I can't remember. And I just never got around to listening it. And I put it on this week and it sold straight away for £30.99, including free postage. No, actually it might be plus postage. So it comes with a, the full proper adapter, power supply as well. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, moral of the story, if you don't list, you're not going to sell. It's as easy as that. I know we all go through slumps of just not wanting to list, not having the motivation to do so. But if you list, you sell. Who to thunk it? We have a sale from the TCG lot that's not Pokemon related. Uh, Avatar, Ang, and other people. Uh, <laughs> Avatar, the legend of Ang. Two lots of the double booster packs, $29.99, including free postage. Finally, something that's not Pokemon related is being sold. Velociraptor Blue from Jurassic World. I don't know how much it's sold for because I have no signal. Transformers Barricade, again, don't know what I got for it because I have no signal. So I'm also going through stuff at the unit and I found some stuff which, to me, I already knew that I had, which is mainly the, uh, is it Southern Island set? Very nice. Um, and then some bits which I honestly completely forgot that I had. And in the current climate, probably worth a few quid, but this is from my own personal stuff. These are... They're all opened, obviously, but they are booster packs. This is from when I opened up uh, a first edition booster box of Team Rocket. And I was wise enough four years ago to keep all of the packs. There's even some, some tops cards here, which is quite apt for what I'm selling at the moment. Uh, there's another full set of four. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of four. And apparently there's a loose set of three. Although it's not a set because it's loose, obviously. Uh, we've got some jungle as well, which is just, oh, man, I don't know what to do. Although I think one of them is not a full set. That one doesn't appear to be a full set, but I know that I've got a binder at home which has got empty packs in. But yeah, so that is... Oh, thank you, me, from three or four years ago. You're a diamond. We have some old theme decks, which I'm probably going to auction off, uh, starting for you guys, starting yesterday. So I'll leave a link to that listing below, but these are all completely empty. Um, actually, there might be a few bits in them. So that's got some of the paperwork inside it. That's got some more bits. Uh, it's just paperwork. I presume this is just paperwork as well. Yeah, uh, it's got damage counters in it as well. Uh, and the only one I'm missing from the original ones is a sealed brush fire. So if anyone's got one for a decent price, give me a shout, please. So a few weeks back, you saw the box for the Street Sharks and Extreme Dinosaurs. This has obviously got a few more bits of Street Sharks in it, but there's also mainly Beast Wars Transformers, which the plan is to have two of everything and I can have a, a dino mode, a transformed mode and the combined forces if uh, if that warrants it. So obviously that's an Ultra Magnus there. So you've got the Eagle, Lion and Elephant. That's one. But I'd have to have sort of three lots of those. So it's one combined, one in animal form and one in normal. And to be fair, a lot of these aren't actually complete, uh, which is really annoying. But Trying to get them at a decent price um, is proving very, very difficult. I don't actually think I've got two of anything, um, apart from the elephants. So I've only got, yeah, one black arachnia, one transmetals black arachnia. Uh, the baboon's missing his fire, his blaster bit, the bit that fires out. Um, well, you know what, I'm sure I've got more somewhere because I'm fairly sure. I had another one of these, the Transmetals, um, can't think of his name now, that's going to annoy me. And I've got two dinosaurs. Two, oh my god, what's his name? I can't think of what his name is. It's like 30 degrees in here, so I need to open some windows. Uh, oh no, I've got two of those as well. So yeah, I've got two of a few of them. The idea would be to have, as I say, next to each other, um, or 
good luck going in for a fight. So you've got Maximals and Decepticons um, going against each other and that sort of thing. So it looked quite cool when it's all done. So yeah, that's all of my stuff. We have Terraria on the PS3, $4.99, including postage. So just packaging up a rather large, decent amount of stuff. Um, and then I'm also actually watching John Luke, the recently white boy. So a fantastic sale from the trading card game hall. We have the 1996 Skybox Marvel Ultra Onslaught trading card set without the signature cards, $59.99 and going via the GSP as well. 60 quid for those cards. Mega Constructs Pokemon Ivysaur $14.99 plus postage. Got this from the amazing mystery box. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, $13.99, including postage. Payday, £18, plus postage. Next up is a parcel from a Mr. Ricky Lee. Now, Ricky Lee is a reseller. He's been doing it for quite a while. However, he's very new to the YouTube game. So we managed to get him on live for a little while on Sunday, just gone. And we managed to get him up to well over 100 subscribers very, very quickly. At the time of me recording this, he's at just under 200. So I will put a link up in the card, um, just up there. However, he did say no, I didn't have to. And I said, no, that's not the way it works. If we help each other out. It's all about give and take. So if you wouldn't mind going over and checking out Ricky's channel, and if he is your cup of tea, he's just like a, he's a nice bloke. He's a good looking lad. You've got no harm in subscribing to him, to be honest with you. And obviously, let him know that I sent you. If we can get him up to twist three, four hundred subs quite quickly, I'd be very happy. So this is a package of Pokemon cards. He picked up from a charity shop, which I believe he gets um, a limited amount of free credit from this particular charity shop. Uh, so he's kept one of the folders, uh, which, to be fair, was worth way more than what he uh, he paid for everything and for some bizarre reason well because he is just such a genuinely nice decent bloke he let me have the cards and he said that there's a few cut ones in here as well so as in like they've cut them down to get them into a folder of some description so i'm not quite sure what the deal is with that but hopefully we'll be able to work it out Okay, so we've got a breakthrough box. That looks to be legitimate anyway. That looks like that's all, all Wizards cards. These are the cut cards. And this is just a folder. So let's have a look at the folder. So we've got a Team Rockets Rattata, uh E-Series Delcati. I don't actually think I have that. So that's going to be going into the collection. 100%. Um, any other cards? See, these are all Wizards of the Coast. This is like my era of cards. And then you've got the, the newest sort, which is like that Pharisee down there. That's new. Uh, well, okay, so we've got a couple of rares in here. Um, so not only was that Delcati a holofoil rare. So, oh, by the way, E-Series, um, which are these ones down here. These are the ones that worked with card readers, which is it should have taken off massively, but it never really did. Uh, so we've got a Dark Hypno and a Dark Victory Bell. They're both rares. So that's going into the non holofoil folder. Uh, that Tentacle, I think, is just... What on earth has gone on here? That is... Oh, it's just folded. Okay. I thought that was, was cut, but it's obviously not. Um, the Tentacle looks a bit off, or is that just because it's... Nope, that looks legit to me. Any fire types that are worth noting? To be honest with you, no, it's a nice e-readers slugma. Uh, a couple of those, actually. Uh, Charmanders. There's a rare Electrode from base set. Fairly beaten up, but it will get a place in a folder, as all rare cards do. And let's just go back in. We'll take out... The Delcati. 
I mean, that's, I would say that's light play, which for a card from 2003 is not particularly bad going. Uh, I think I'll just get the rares out for now, and I'll have to go through and have a sort out. Oh, oh hang on, there's multiple cards. Well, this is just going to make life so much harder. Come on, Ricky, could you not have just got all the cards out and put them all into individual uh, sleeves? That would have made my life a lot easier. Um, right, let's go through and actually finish this folder because this is just going to be energies, I think. Energies and energies. Okay, nothing else in that one. So we'll go next to the Wizards of the Coast bundles by the looks of it. Oh, that Croconore, man. Oh, that's seen better days. Uh, anything noteworthy? Oh, that's a shame. That's Heart Gold Soul Silver, I think. Uh, e reader, e reader, Pikachu, Doduo. That's a nice, another old school card. Raichu, that's Breakpoint, I think. So there's a nice mixture of new and old. So I would presume it's either someone who had some hand me downs when they got back into it. No idea. Dead and a nice mixture. One of these cards are quite good to look out for, but you need to have the gold border. Um, fairly uncommon though, so a chance of finding one out in the wild is not very likely. Such a nice mix of cards. Loving the old school cards though, really I am. Ooh, Unknown J promo series, that's nice. Uh, E-readers, I'm going to have to go through all these again off camera. Uh, Neo, and we have Reverse Caterpie from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, we have a Weezing, which I think that's a rare. That is a rare. Awesome. By the way, Ricky sent these to me completely for free. Um, it wouldn't take any bloody money for it whatsoever. So if we ever do meet up at some point, I owe you, I owe you one hell of a pint of wine or vodka. Um, what else do we have in here? Sharpedo, that's a rare. Kingdra, that's a rare, but that's fairly beaten up. Tangle Growth, oh, there's a few hollows in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Base set two. Reshi Ram, Camera Up. I'm just going to go through the whole lot. I'm going to put them into piles later. Uxi. No idea what that is. Skylander cards. Jewel Masters. Okay, we're now having a bit of a mix. Raichu, Hollow. So in this condition, um, to be fair, anything is not going to be worth a great deal at all. A far fetched clam pearl, another meowth, unknown. Nope, anything there? Nope, nope, nope. Drowsy, no, nope. and nope. Right, so now we have the little bag of cut cards. Oh my god, they've literally just been sliced. Oh, please don't be anything good in here. There's a promo Pikachu. That is bizarre. Are they all cut down the same way? They are. Why has someone done that? Oh, that's a fault. Yeah, we found a whole card. Um, oh, I'm so worried there's going to be something good in here. That's just been... Th this is strange. Well, at least that's not first edition. Or the promo one, which is worth a lot of money. Uh, there's a misprint promo. Man, oh, it's all old cards as well. Oh, this is like soul destroying. Ah, Kakuna. No, no. <laughs> oh, fun fact: Japanese version. That those eyes tend to be pointing up in that direction to the skirt, and it was changed when it came over to the English version. Um, oh, it's a bloody no. <laughs> Uh, a cut dark wheezing. I've got a PSA 10 version of that in holofoil. 
bought it for 20 30 pounds a couple of years ago um and it's doubled or tripled in price since jolteon no another rare what what they tell you what there's there's an eight-year-old running around and needs a punch in the face no oh at least it wasn't anything like amazing but there was a cut hollow foil why would someone do that i'm gonna have to go through and look at older binders but they i can only presume they tried to put them in binders for something that it was not trading card related so they've just completely cut off one side of the card uh, to be fair i would be gutted if that was shadowless or first edition kind of glad it's not but again massive thank you to ricky lee links in the description up in the cards anywhere and everywhere massive thank you to ricky and as i said i would definitely be buying you a drink if and when we ever do get to have a get together